Hey folks, it's Philly Boy J, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make chicken parmesan. Here we have three large sides boneless chicken breasts. What you're going to do first before moving on to the next step is you're going to slice off and remove as much fat as possible. All that yellow stuff right there is fat. You want to remove that from the chicken. Make sure that when you're removing it from the chicken that you don't remove too much meat along with it. That's the way you want your chicken to look right there. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to slice them in half because they're pretty big. And we don't want our chicken parmesan to be this thick. So we're going to slice each one of our boneless chicken breasts in half to create six pieces of chicken all right as you know once meat makes contact with heat it swells we're going to be frying our boneless chicken and we're also going to be baking it in the oven so you want them to be about that size right there not too thin but not too thick medium sized pieces of chicken we're going to get ready to clean our boneless chicken you guys know i always clean my meats on the show so what you want to do is get a big bowl. You're going to add all six pieces of chicken to the bowl. And we're going to be using salt water solution to rinse our chicken. Okay. So you're going to add about a tablespoon of salt. And then you're going to cover the chicken with cool water. Massage it really well, and we're going to let that sit for a little while. Meanwhile, we're going to move on and focus on the other ingredients that you're going to need for your chicken parmesan. You're going to need salt. We're going to be using black pepper. We're going to be using garlic powder, and we're going to be garnishing it once it's done with parsley flakes for decoration purposes. The kind of sauce that I like to put on my chicken parm is marinara sauce. You can use whatever sauce you like, but if you want to follow my recipe to a T, we're going to be using marinara sauce. I think it personally takes the best. It tastes the best on chicken parm. I also think mozzarella cheese go the best with chicken parm. You're going to need some oil. So make sure you have that. That's vegetable oil, by the way. You're going to need two large size eggs. You're going to need all purpose flour. And you're going to need bread crumbs. That's Italian bread crumbs there. Okay. What we're going to do first is we're going to add a little milk to our eggs. You can use milk or water. Milk or water. I had milk on hand, so I use it. You're going to beat the eggs and milk up for about 45 seconds and now what we're going to do is we're going to season our clean boneless chicken we're going to season it with the salt we're going to season it with the garlic powder and we're not going to be over seasoning the chicken because there's enough seasoning in the italian breadcrumbs it has like oregano and basil and thyme in there it's Italian breadcrumbs all right so now what we're gonna do after seasoning it with the salt the garlic powder and the pepper is we're going to massage it and massaging all the seasonings really well to make sure every part of the chicken is well seasoned okay and that's the way your chicken should look look at how seasoned they are look at them ah ah so here's the formula that we use to coat our chicken. You want to coat it really well in flour. What the flour is going to do is going to seal in the seasoning. So once you fry it, the seasoning is not going to flow off because we're going to be coating it with the flour, the egg wash, and the breadcrumbs. So the seasoning is going to be stuck under all of that. It's going to be sealed to the chicken. You're going to shake off the excess flour. 
then you're going to make sure that your chicken is fully saturated in egg wash. You have to make sure every part of the chicken is coated with the egg wash to help the bread crumbs stick better. So make sure that there's no empty spots. Make sure that it's fully coated with the egg wash because that's the gluing agent that's going to help the breadcrumbs stick really well. Then you're going to press the breadcrumbs onto the chicken to make sure it sticks well. All right. You're going to shake off the excess breadcrumbs and that's the way your chicken should look right there. And you're going to sit it aside, let it sit for at least 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. And that's just so that the coating can kind of settle into the meat. I do this, as you guys know, with my fish when I'm using cornmeal. I do it with my pork chops, my chicken. Whenever I'm coating something, I let it sit for a while. You want to place a skillet over high heat. Going to be cooking these bad boys over high heat and you're going to add your oil. You're going to allow it to preheat and get nice and hot. Your oil has to be hot before adding the chicken. And you want to make sure that you allow it to preheat for about 8 minutes. After 8 minutes, your oil should be really hot. And you're going to fry 3 at a time. And we're not going to fry these very long because they're going to cook a little longer in the oven and if you fry them too long and then bake them it's going to be really tough and chewy and we don't want our meat to be tough and chewy we want it to be nice and tender we want the outside to be crispy and the inside to be tender so as i told you guys on my previous boneless chicken cutlets video that i did a few months ago we're only going to be frying them for about three to four minutes on each side all right and then you're going to remove them so fry them for three to four minutes per side that's about a total of six to eight minutes so at this point what you're going to do after all of your boneless chicken is fried is you want to preheat your oven at 350 degrees let your oven preheat for at least 15 minutes before adding these bad boys while your oven is preheating, you're going to add all of your boneless chicken to a baking pan or dish. Mine's right there. It's not that big. I suggest you use a bigger one. You want them to kind of be separated. Now we're going to add our marinara sauce. And me personally, I don't add a lot of marinara sauce to top the chicken because you don't want to smother it and then it be all soggy. Some people add entirely way too much marinara sauce. So you just want to kind of add a little bit. Like you should still be able to see the chicken. See how every part of the chicken is not coated? You don't want to fully coat it. Okay? So you don't want to smother it. Just add a nice amount like that there. And make sure you coat each one with the sauce. Just like that. Uh, look good already and what we're gonna do now is we're going to top our chicken with the shredded mozzarella cheese okay so top it with the cheese and I add a nice amount of that because I love the cheese that's my favorite part of chicken parm the cheese so yeah guys that's just how I make it, I use marinara sauce and mozzarella cheese. I just think that combination is so Italian. You know, Italians use like mozzarella on pretty much everything. Pizza, just pretty much everything. Like mozzarella cheese and marinara sauce to me seems to be the sauce and cheese that they use the most. So that's what I went with and it came out amazing. You're going to sprinkle the top with some parsley flakes this is just for decoration purposes give it a nice look once it's done we're going to place it in the oven we're going to bake it let me show you guys how it look look at that ah we don't bake it long because we already fried the chicken we don't want the chicken to be tough okay we just bake it long enough to melt the cheese it only took about 
10 to 15 minutes. Once the cheese is melted, you take it out because the chicken essentially is already done. All right. You just want to, you know, melt the cheese and kind of brown it a bit like that there. So you don't bake it very long at all. All right. So that is your chicken parmesan, guys. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you enjoy the recipe for the full recipe with all the detailed instructions and the measurements and any additional information that I didn't mention in this video. You can visit my website at phillyjcooking.com. All right. And all the measurements and detailed instructions will be found there. We're going to turn these bad boys around so you can see how they look. Give you a different angle. Look at those chicken palms. Uh, this was really, really good. It was really, really good. Please give this recipe a shot. You guys are really going to enjoy it. I know I did. It's really, really good. My friends enjoyed it. Came out amazing, man. Can't get too much better than this. Okay, guys. So now we're going to top our chicken parmesan over some spaghetti noodles. I like to make spaghetti with mine. You can eat your chicken parm with anything that you like, but I love it with spaghetti. That's the way they serve it in Olive Garden restaurant. So I cook some spaghetti. And look. Ah. Uh, Look how pretty it look. Mm, 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 mm. I may add a third one. Eat three of these bad boys. They just that good. Ah! And look how crispy they are. They're not dry. Ah. They're amazing. They're really, really good. Now I'm going to slice one for y'all. I'm going to tease y'all. Look at that. And look how tender the meat is. Just look how tender the meat is. And the reason, again, that it's so tender is because we didn't fry it or bake it long. Look at the meat. Like I said, guys, try this recipe out. Tell me how you like it. I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. This is Philly Boy J's version of Chicken Parmesan.